What's going on guys? Just not right here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the iOS downgrade and future restore. And uh, we're going to do that since we didn't talk about the restores with the future restore or Prometheus, a uh, application created by Thinkstar for quite a lot of time. So let's get into that. I'm talking about the latest version here that has been pushed by Teamstar. And um, ever since we uh, we talked last time about, you know, future restore, a lot of things have changed. There are a lot of versions that have appeared. And um, I just want to take a note on what is possible and what is not for the moment with the iOS downgrades. Now, according to Teamstar, uh, in a post that he made on um, 18th of July, uh, quote, according to this future restore version 150 seems to have fixed the basement error minus 11 on iPhone 6 and later, end quote. So uh, basically this is one of the errors we've been fiddling with when trying future restore and apparently Teamstar has managed to somehow fix it. Anyways, you can download the latest version always in here, but um, I wanted to point out the fact that now you have a very, very good representation of what can be done and what cannot. In this uh, page in here, you can see you have three different methods and the first one is Prometheus 64-bit devices with generator method. And uh, this one requires a jailbreak, of course, in order to set the um, uh, SHSH2 file with the generator to work with the uh, downgrade process. And for that, you need the nonce enabler. And uh, it shows exactly how to use it. And it has also his own tutorials in here. Then you have the Prometheus method with the nonce collision method. And this is something that a lot of people are still trying, although this is not working anymore. And according to Teamstorm, quote, it's fascinating now people st still try nonce collision on future restore method, even though it's officially dead. So uh, basically trying this without a jailbreak, because the, um, the nonce collision method worked without a jailbreak, you had to try more and more and more up until the uh, device's app nonce matched the one from the SHSH file. It's no longer working and uh, it's basically uh, the problem that you can, you can no longer get a, um, a matching nonce and therefore you cannot restore. So avoid using this one or if you try to use this one, keep in mind that it's not going to work or it's going to work only on uh, 10.2 or lower. So keep that in mind. And then you have the Odysseus method for 32-bit devices for which the future restore now has support inside the application and um, the requirements for it is a future restore compiled with a uh, Liby patcher which is available, the latest version does contain that. A, a jailbreak or a boot from exploit, you probably uh, know the Odysseus method does require a jailbreak or an exploit and the firmware keys to be published and if you remember the firmware keys for a lot of devices were published a couple days ago by Axiom X and some of them by Xerob for the iPhone 5. 5S, but that is 64-bit. Anyways, and then of course you need the SHSH files, but uh, the uh, OTA blobs also work and some devices have iOS 6.1.3 and 8.4.1 still signed, so you would definitely be able to, to go back there. And you also have the instructions in here. Then you also have the re-restore bug, uh, and this is the fourth method, uh, if you want to consider it. It's uh, basically not requiring any jailbreak, but it does require an SHSH blob file without a nonce. So um, this one has been discovered by Alitech123 uh, on Twitter and works only on 32-bit devices, uh, so you should keep that in mind. Now, speaking about the latest version, once you download it and um, you get in here, you can open it in terminal and you'll, you'll see it has a lot of changes, but at, um, at first you need to know that Future Restore doesn't work on Windows. It still doesn't work on Windows as for now. So um, you can see once you open it, let me try to show you, it says Odysseus support in here and it's yes. And then you have the Liby patcher version, uh, minus 35, or sorry, 35. And um, it means it does contain that component. In the version, you can see it's 150. So it's the latest version. About this, uh, you can you can um, see a lot of tutorials on Teamstar's channel that is going to be linked down below. Just wanted to let you know there is a new version that apparently is fixing some of the errors and it does have support for most of the um, downgrade types. And I just wanted to mention that you should not be using the, the nonce collision anymore since the uh, the nonce collision that is uh, in here, nonce collision method, is no longer working, uh, at least not on iOS 10.3.3 or 10.3.2, 10.2.1 and so on. 
it's not possible to go back using that. So what can you do right now in order to downgrade? Well, if you're jailbroken, it's pretty easy for you. If you have the blobs saved, it's fairly easy. You just go ahead and use them. Anyways, uh, as I said, Teamstar has very good tutorials on it, but if you're not jailbroken, unfortunately for the moment, you are not able to downgrade. And uh, yes, you can try the uh, the uh, nose collision, which doesn't require a jailbreak, but it's not going to happen. Probably it's not going to work anyways, because you are on a newer uh, version. That worked on 10.2 and 10.1.1 and so on. Then, of course, if you're on 32-bit and um, you have a, uh, a blob that doesn't have the EAP ticket, then you are probably able to use Alitex bug and uh, go back, of course, to the, uh, to the version for which you have the blobs. But again, for that you need the blobs. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Do not forget to download the, uh, the latest version of Future Restore from the description down below if you can use it. And uh, yeah, do not forget to check out the documentation that I linked in the description. And thanks to Timstar for making such a good documentation page for everybody to learn from. Peace out.